So uh, another area we're working on is clinical application. So the question, of course, is can these kinds of experiences have therapeutic benefit? And so, so one set of studies we're running now is in cancer patients, similar to the studies that were conducted back in the 50s and 60s and also done by Charlie Grobe recently as a pilot study at UCLA in which we're investigating a higher dose of psilocybin than Charlie Grobe used in cancer patients who are anxious or depressed secondary to their existential crisis of their disease. And uh, to date, we've uh, completed about 18 volunteers. We have 30 yet to recruit. Uh, the results are still blinded, but I can tell you uh, just anecdotally that the results look quite similar to what we've seen in healthy volunteers insofar as most volunteers are having mystical type experiences. And I would also share that um, it's really touching to see how these kinds of experiences uh, are uh, unfold in people who are dealing with their own passing. So we've had um, people very close to end of life come in for a psilocybin experience, have uh, uh, an experience of unity and connectedness that's uh, deeply meaningful to them. But the interesting piece is that they go home and, uh, and in interacting with their loved ones and, the, and their caretakers, they actually end up supporting their loved ones and caretakers. They're going home saying, you know, I am dying, uh, but it's okay. I, I love you, there's a bigger picture here, and it's okay that it's time for me to go. And, and to hear the reports from both the volunteers and their caretakers about how that is so deeply felt by the caretakers is, is really humbling and touching.